didn't wait too long to strike again, though. Three months later, on April 4th of 1974, he broke into the apartment of Catherine Bright. She wasn't home, though, initially when he broke in, but he waited for her. And the second she entered her apartment that night, he stabbed her and strangled her. During this, her brother Kevin actually ended up coming over to the apartment, and Dennis ended up shooting him. But Kevin survived the attack and was able to describe his attacker. But as you see, Dennis has a very plain look. He was just described as having a bushy mustache and looking very average. As with many serial killers, Dennis wanted attention. So in October of 1974, he put a letter inside of a public library book. And in this letter, he confessed to the murders of the family as well as of Catherine. And not only did he warn that he would kill again, but he also named himself. He said that the code words for me would be to bind them, torture them, and kill them. BTK. And that is where the term the BTK killer comes from. Now, it wasn't until March of 1977 that it was confirmed that he struck again. Shirley Vian was home with her kids when Dennis broke in. He locked her her children